So yes people, welcome back to another video here on the JM Football Channel. So today I've just got a quick video filled with advice for you guys who are chasing a professional contract. So let's not waste any time. Here's five things you guys must be doing if you're chasing a professional contract. Now I took some time to think about five main things that you should be doing whilst chasing a professional contract and of course there are many things so this list could be longer. But I've tried to highlight five major things that you guys should try and focus on doing in order to help your chances of signing a professional football contract. So let's just start with number one. So number one of course is training. Now if you're currently playing semi-pro or amateur then you're probably training once, twice, maybe three times a week. Now, of course, as you know, professionals train basically every day. So let's say, for example, here's a professional. He's training five times a week and he's got a match on the weekends. Then there's you, a semi-professional. You're training two times with your team and you've got a match on the weekend. So the professional who's already in a professional setup is training more than you, which probably means he's improving faster than you. So you need to train as much, maybe even more than the professional is training so you can improve at a higher rate than they are. So the simple way to do this is training on your own or finding groups or other teams which you can train with. So say again, you train Tuesdays and Thursdays with your team. That leaves Monday, Wednesday and Friday for you to do an individual training session. Now, if you're serious about signing a professional contract, you need to be doing your training seriously. You need to take it serious and they need to be high quality sessions. So be consistent and train hard on your own. Yes, I know it's hard and I know it's a big grind, but trust me, it will be worth it. Now, number two is simply you wanna live like a pro. What does this mean? Basically, you wanna eat, sleep, train, recover, just like a professional footballer does. So a few things to keep in mind is eight hours of sleep a day, good quality food, high in protein, good carbs, vegetables, all that sort of stuff. Then you wanna be drinking a lot of water. Obviously, as I said before, you wanna be training as close to as a professional as you can, and then just create some good healthy habits like stretching, doing mobility work, going to see a physio once a week. Stuff like this can really help you look after your body. Now, number three is you want to network as much as you can. Now, for you to sign that professional contract, you need to find opportunities for yourself. Now, this can be through emailing clubs yourself, or it can be through an agent you find. So sign up to pages like LinkedIn. We've talked, on, we've talked about LinkedIn many times before on this page. Sign up to LinkedIn, create an account, upload your CV, highlights for you, and get connecting. The more people that know you, and the more you get your name out there, the better chance you have of signing a pro contract. Now number four is you simply wanna be match fit. Now the thing about football is you might be networking every day for three months and not get one opportunity. Then in one week, you'll get three clubs or agents get back to you and say, look, I've got an opportunity here for you, can you be there? Now you need to be 100% ready for that opportunity, which means you need to be match fit or as close to match fit as you can be. Obviously it helps if you're with a team and your team training, this way you can get some minutes and you can remain match fit. But basically you never know when an opportunity is gonna come your way. So you always need to be ready for that opportunity that may come. Which takes me back to point one, which was training. You really wanna focus on good quality training sessions that will get you match fit and ready for these opportunities. Now my fifth and final point is you want to be making and more importantly, saving money. Now for these opportunities, you're gonna need money. They can be your own country or they may be abroad. But for these opportunities, you need money to fund your traveling, your accommodation, maybe plane tickets, bus rides, trains, all this stuff needs to be paid for. Now, if you're lucky, the club will help you pay for your accommodation or travel or whatever, but it's not always the case. So if this means you have to work a part-time job or anything like this, let that be. Because if you want to sign a professional contract, you're gonna have to sacrifice for that opportunity. So get a part-time job in a shop nearby, try and start a side hustle, go and cut people's lawns, wash cars, anything you need to do to get some money in your pocket so you're able to save. And also, in point number two, when I was talking about you want to live like a pro, I talked about diet. Now someone needs to fund your diet, you need to feed yourself, so you also need money for that. So try and save as much money as you can, try and live beneath your needs. So really try to cut out any extra bills you may have, eating out, 
fancy new clothes or trainers, anything like that, just try and cut it out for now and save as much money as you can for these future opportunities. Now for me, here's just one example. In the winter, I went out to Spain. I had to pay for my own flights and accommodation. So I needed money for that. This may be the same for you or the club might help you pay for your flights and accommodation. I don't know. But it's better to have money in your pocket just in case you need it. Because I can't, I can't imagine anything worse than finally finding a really good opportunity and not being able to pay for the flights or the hotel room. So save as much money as you can. So these are my five things that you must be doing if you're chasing a professional contract in football. I know it's not an easy journey. It's hard, it's lonely, you're gonna have bad days. But if you can stick it out, keep working hard and be consistent with your training, good things will happen. Now if these, if this has helped you or if you're gonna try these five, five points that I've just mentioned, please drop a like. Please hit the subscribe button. We're getting closer to 5K subs. We really appreciate that. Have a great weekend and I'll see you guys in the next video.